gonna come off on my pants? They ain't gonna come off. Oh, no, well, it's a dog suit, so. Good evening. Please stand for the singing of the national anthem sung by senior Gianna Mirabelli. stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallant 
gently streaming and the rocket red glare the bombs bursting in air can you prove through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Please be seated. Thank you, Gianna. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> Members of the Board of Education, Mr. Snyder, administrators, faculty, parents, relatives, and friends, welcome to Beth Page High School's 67th commencement. Today, the class of 2022 will add to the tradition of excellence that is Bethpage Schools. Now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce our senior class president, Liam O'Connor, who will be attending SUNY Purchase in the fall. Hello, my name is Liam O'Connor, as Jan said, and I'm class president of the Bethpage High School class of 2022. I'm very grateful for this opportunity to address you all, and I hope I don't look too bad compared to the great speeches to come after me. I'll begin with a question. What does it mean to graduate from high school? More specifically, what does it mean to graduate from Bethpage High School? Literally, it means fulfilling a credit requirement, but the culmination of experiences we've had during our time here means so much more. It means something different for each of us, but to me, it means opportunity. There are the opportunities we've already had, like learning from our excellent teachers, getting involved in extracurricular programs, and forming lifelong friendships as we progress together here from the first day of kindergarten to this moment. And then there are the opportunities that we will have as a result of our time here, such as attending great schools or starting promising careers in the military or the trades. It's these opportunities, many of which are unique to Bethpage, that make me grateful to have grown up here. In the wise words of famous philosopher Winnie the Pooh, how lucky am I to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. In many ways, graduation is the end of a story, but I prefer to view it as the beginning of the rest of our lives. And that's kind of a beautiful thing, I think. From now on, we're free to explore life's many wonders, if we dare to do so. And I'd like to dare, dare you all to do exactly that. There is a very comfortable paved path that exists for many of us, but there is infinitely more in the world if you're willing to go out and get it. I'm looking forward to seeing the amazing things we will accomplish together in the future. Thank you to everybody who has helped us along the way. Good night and good luck. Thank you, Liam. It gives me great pleasure to introduce our student council president, James Panchukian. who will be attending SUNY Binghamton this fall. Good evening, everyone. My name is James Panchukian, and as Student Council President, I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the parents, family members, and staff here on this day to honor the Beth Page graduating class of 2022. As you all know, this is a very special day for every senior. This is the moment in which we all close one chapter of our lives and begin a new one. Now, looking back, I understand that our journey was not the easiest per se, but despite the bumps, I can confidently say that this is one of the best classes to pass through this school. Mr. Jantz's words, not mine. <laughs> Sorry to all the past graduates here for that one. 
Having involvement in many extracurriculars the school has to offer, I have gotten to know the majority of you sitting here today. Through these experiences, I have had the privilege of witnessing the unbelievable talent, hard work, and passion that you have all put towards bettering this school, community, and your own lives. Individually, we have all achieved so much artistically, athletically, academically, and personally. But I feel that the times in which we all came together were the times in which I felt the most pride for our class, especially after that glorious, glorious battle of the class's win. <laughs> I understand that we all have different feelings sitting here in these gowns today. Some look upon this day with sadness, others with excitement. But what is important is that we're doing it together. Look around. These are the people we have spent our entire lives with thus far. And here we are, about to face the unknown, just as we have done together when entering elementary, middle, and high school. Now for those eager to explore what the future has to offer, I ask you not to forget what Beth Page and the people you have met through this community has meant to you. For high school has shaped us into the people that we will be for the rest of our lives. As Dr. Seuss once said, sometimes you will never know the value of a moment until it becomes a memory. So that said, cherish the memories you have made with the people here, and at the same time, enjoy making new memories beyond the halls of Bethpage High School. For those nervous for the future, I understand that sentiment and sympathize. But I believe that we all have the capability and potential to do great things in this world. My greatest hope is that we all find our best path and become the greatest versions of ourselves. I have full confidence that the class of 22 will do just that. I wish you all the best of luck. Thank you. Thank you, James. Now please welcome our salutatorian for the class of 2022, Ruchitha Chanapatna, who will be attending MIT in the fall. Hello, fellow classmates, faculty, administration, board members, family, and friends. It is a pleasure and honor to stand here today and share this celebratory moment with you all. I would like to start by thanking my family. To my grandparents who are here today, thank you for your unyielding support. Thank you to my parents for everything you have given me and continue to do. To Suchita, my twin sister, for being my best friend and dealing with me. I also want to thank the family I have found and made in Bethpage during my time here. The communities I found within, mainly robotics, research, and music, has made an incredible impact on me. And I know my peers feel similarly about the groups they were a part of, whether that was athletics, music, arts, academics, service, or anything else this school district offers. The diversity and interests and talents in this grade is truly amazing, and I'm so grateful and proud to be part of such an incredible class. I would like to thank another incredible group, teachers. Their commitment, support, and genuine care has been invaluable, and we will take the lessons learned here with us wherever we choose to go in life. And I don't just mean typical lessons like chanting ATP energy or mighty mitochondria, though that's been ingrained in our brains whether we wanted it or not. Here are a few of the other lessons learned from some BHS teachers with somewhat of a spin for the coming years. In the words of Mrs. Panay, you aren't wrong, honey, you're just not right. <laughs> Sometimes there are multiple paths to success. It is our choice to try each path until we find the best one. And in the future years, we will have many opportunities for exploration. In the words of Mr. Stelic, preserve civilization, or more recently, restore civilization. It's our responsibility to contribute to our society and to share the talents and knowledge we have. And we are all undoubtedly capable of doing so. In the words of Mr. Pilatos, Get it done by yesterday. Whether it applies to the papers many of us may write in college or what we need to do in life, we shouldn't wait for things to happen, but should go after them proactively. 
in the words of Mr. Miller, the math treadmill and math toolbox are phrases some of us will remember for a very long time. Sometimes, even if it feels like we aren't going anywhere, we are really just building the stamina, persistence, and accumulating resources for the long run. In the words of Dr. K, concentrate, or is concentrate, the common pronunciation. With all the new things going on in our lives, it's going to be important to focus on the things that matter to us. Now, he was also quick to remind us that we're all going to be freshmen again, which is quite the gloomy thought. But it also means we all have a fresh start. These are a few of the lessons I am glad to take with me. And I know we are all taking away something similar from our time here in Bethpage. We've learned a lot the past 12 years, thanks to the people who have raised us, but also from each other. Both big and small moments have shaped us into who we are. Our class has endured and prevailed through many challenges. No matter what, we pushed through. And now, as we start the next chapter of our lives, we will be pushing the world to be a better place. Thank you. Thank you, Ruchitha. Ladies and gentlemen, it's now my distinct honor and privilege to introduce the class of 2022's valedictorian, who will be he heading to MIT with her sister this fall, Suchitha Chenapata. Good evening, everyone. I'm so excited to be sharing this moment with my peers, administrators, family, and everyone else. <laughs> I'm fortunate to have so much support from my parents, my sister, my grandparents, and this whole community. Mr. Jantz, Mr. Healy, and Mr. Toko, you only have to deal with us for a little longer. I still remember practicing for a fifth grade graduation at Charles Campaign. The teachers were trying to make us stand and sit in a coordinated row. All those recess, kickball, and knock hockey tournaments seemed like just a few days ago. Then, in middle school, we tried super hard to contain our chatter during our graduation practice. I mean, who could blame us? We were going to Dave & Buster's right after. <laughs> Final exams and regents were over, and we felt like we were on top of the world. And here we are, now, at our high school graduation. Over these past four years, we really grew into the individuals and the class that we are. The time we spent here far exceeds the seven-hour day of classes. From the robotics room, I always saw athletes running to the gym, drama kids lined up in the hallway, ethics members taking a walk during their break, jazz band members lugging their equipment, and sometimes those of us who just needed to get out as soon as the bell rang. Every single one of us learned something beyond math, science, history, and language at this school. And for many of us, it has translated into our varied college and career paths. As we go into the real world, I think it's important for us to remember that our education isn't over. When I was in elementary school, my neighbor told me a saying that her mother would re re repeat. Learn fast, little one, before you grow old, for knowledge is more precious than silver or gold. Gold and silver will tarnish away, but a strong education will never decay. Beth Page sure gave us a strong education, both in class subjects and life lessons. But we are going to be constantly learning. Some of us will be living on our own for the first time this fall. I guess we'll be the ones learning how to do laundry, and hopefully doing a better job of folding than we did when rolling lab aprons in chem class. At college, we'll be exposed to new ideas, people with entirely different perspectives, and opportunities to try something we never knew we'd be interested in. Those going directly into the workforce and military will learn a whole new level of responsibility, time management, and independence. Many things we come across will be out of our control, but the knowledge and the experience we gain will always be available to guide us. We may stumble, we may be humbled. So with each failure and success, let's remember not to get too caught up in only the outcome. It's all just another chance to learn and deploy star power. That's band talk for focus and nail it. 
And with these new learned lessons, we have a responsibility to contribute to our communities the same way that this community has shaped us. Beth Page is special. Regardless of when each person moved to the district, which classes we had in common, or even how often we spoke to each other, we always supported each other. As we go our separate ways, let's remember to continue considering the bigger picture and sharing our knowledge in a way that impacts others positively. Many of you know that I was involved with the robotics team, so to end off, I'll quote something from our award submission that applies to this moment. We are family, and we are the future. Congratulations, everyone. Thank you, Suchitha. Ladies and gentlemen, and it is now my distinct honor to introduce the superintendent of Bethpage Schools, Mr. David Schneider. Thank you, Mr. Jantz, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to all the parents, grandparents, families, and friends, and also to the members of our Board of Education, administrators and staff, and to all those viewing this at home. Welcome to this very special moment. Please allow me to start by saying congratulations to the class of 2022 and the 67th commencement ceremony for Bethpage High School here in this very special place. We all know how much it means to you and your families to have your commencement ceremony, this final step, take place right here. We're extremely excited to be able to share this moment together. Mr. Jantz, Mr. Healy, and Mr. Toko, let me say how much we all appreciate the work done by the three of you in making this a very successful school year, especially this year. And to you and all your wonderful staff members, thank you. We are incredibly grateful for your dedication and professionalism. You have had a great year under the toughest of conditions, and I appreciate all your hard work. Mr. Jantz, you have led the students and staff with grace and honor, always keeping their well-being as your guiding principle. Thank you for showing BHS the way through this very challenging time. And a special thank you to all the parents for your cooperation understanding and support in working together to keep the Bethpage schools, Bethpage, strong. Just another example of how special our community is. No place can do things like Bethpage can. I want to say thank you to the class of 2022 for your commitment to excellence. Your achievements in academics, the fine and performing arts, and athletics have showcased your school and community and made us all very proud. We have all enjoyed seeing you in action this year, and we're thrilled to be able to highlight so many of these events with the community to share in your success. You have all represented your class, our school, and this wonderful community with great distinction. Some examples are our special valedictorian salutatorian dynamic duo. You may have seen him on TV a few times this spring. Our second Regeneron winner, the Maskers Guild production of The Little Mermaid, our robotics team at the World Championships once again, our ethics team and kick line at Nationals, the Science Research Symposium and LICEF winners, and our athletic program continues to compete with the best in the county with numerous conference, division, and county championships with multiple winners from our boys and girls track team, a perfect game bowler, and our football team returning to the county championship game this past fall. We're even more proud that our students understand the values of what defines a student athlete, as 32 out of 32 of our varsity teams qualified as scholar athlete teams, defined as teams that have a collective 90 average in all their classes. Just fantastic. The class of 2022 has demonstrated a deep commitment to our community. During your four years, you have taken part in many activities to support our schools with incredible fundraising efforts, 
especially to support one of our own. But this year more than ever, you served as role models inside our buildings and within our community, as so many of you participated in programs that connected our high school students to students at JFK and our elementary schools. The Maritime Festival, Engineers Helping Engineers, Read to Achieve, Red Ribbon Week, and STEM Nights, to name a few. I thank you all deeply for that commitment and leadership. It is clear to all of us that Beth Page is one of the best high schools in the country. But others have taken notice as well, as Beth Page continuously makes the list of best high schools in America and has been awarded the highest honor in the land, being named the United States Department of Education Blue Ribbon School of Excellence. Additionally, the Beth Page School District has been ranked the 74th best district in the United States by Niche.com, recognition that we are all very proud of. So today, graduates, you join the ranks of a very special group of people known as Golden Eagle alumni. So I ask you to be bold, be courageous, be your best, and wherever you go, go with all your heart. We know that you will too carry on the great legacy that is Beth Page. On behalf of the Board of Education, I wish the class of 2022 all the best as they go on to college, the workplace, or serving our nation in the armed forces. My great hope is that each of you discovers your purpose and your potential, and that one day you too will be back here to share your own stories of success. It is an absolute privilege to be the superintendent of the Beth Page School District. Always remember, we are Beth Page. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Schneider. Good evening once again, and welcome to Beth Page's 67th commencement ceremony. Thank you for being here tonight and giving this group of fantastic students the send-off that they deserve. Before I begin, I'd like to review some ground rules for my speech. First, this is your night. It's been a long, very long 12 years. So please clap and applaud whenever you want. That's great, right on cue, good job, good job. Second, this is my eighth graduation ceremony at this point, and I've cried every time. You've been warned. Let's see how it goes this year. The class of 2022, wow. I remember typing that for your sixth grade orientation slideshow for Mr. Fullerton in the summer of 2015. Back then it seemed so far away, but yet here we are. I can proudly say that the class of 22 represents, and James mentioned this, I did say that, the best of Beth Page. It is a well-rounded and impressive group that has left a positive mark, not only at Beth Page High School, but the town itself. I should know, I've been lucky enough to have worked with them since they entered middle school as sixth graders in 2015. From the beginning, there was always something special about this class. To start, they're polite and very personable. Many people complain about kids these days. They have their heads buried in their phones, they don't make eye contact, and they can't hold conversations. Well, not this group. They say hello, good morning, and even more. I can attest to this. I've annoyed them for seven years every time they walked into the school building. I'm sure they're very, very happy to get rid of me. We all know this is not normal for kids, especially high schoolers, but it is the norm for the class of 22. Since middle school, they have been mature, confident, and wonderful to converse with, no matter what the topic was. The class of 22 is also really nice. They're great kids. 
You can clap. They have little to no disciplinary record dating back to middle school. So good, in fact, that Mr. Toko, our ninth and 11th grade assistant principal, has been wondering what our 12th grade assistant principal, Mr. Healy, has done for four years. Actually, has any member of the class even met Mr. Healy? Mr. Healy, please wave. That's Mr. Healy. He's great. I'm kidding. He's great. And they know him. This class is also caring and loves giving back to their beloved Bethpage community. Throughout their time here, they have volunteered at extra for extracurricular clubs like SAD, Athletes Helping Athletes, and Robotics to share their knowledge and passions with younger students throughout the district. This year, members of our Marine Biology Club filled an entire trailer with clothing and other goods to send to the Ukrainian people. Good job, you all listen, good. They have raised thousands of dollars for cancer research to benefit our beloved trainer, Joe Colleen. Thinking of all this, it just makes sense because the class of 22 has had no time to get into trouble. They've been busy setting and accomplishing their goals, and the results are incredible. Because among this fine group of students, we have researchers who have won prestigious awards, including a Regeneron Scholar. Many of our student athletes are going on to compete on the collegiate level, including a player who was recently named the high school All-American. And let's not forget about our robotics team members who have competed on the world stage multiple times, or our ethics team that is made up of four graduating seniors here tonight who have contended for the national title at UNC Chapel Hill later, uh, earlier in the spring. This class is also loaded with talented actors, actresses, and musicians who have made our concerts and drama productions must-see events since middle school. <laughs> Clearly, this class is special. And that's why I'm proud to announce tonight that tonight's graduation rate, this class's graduation rate, is 100%. Of that, 99% have earned a Regents Diploma, and clap, go ahead, good, good. And 78% with advanced designation, incredible. 94% of our students are heading off to college, while others are attending trade schools, starting careers, and have joined the military. At this point, I'd like to recognize Shane Lessa, Tyler Spark, and Michael Godoy, who will serve our nation in the Army and the Navy in the future. Please stand up, gentlemen. Please stand up. Thank you, gentlemen. Parents, you've clearly done an excellent job raising these kids. You can clap for yourselves. I heard one clap. Go with it. Good, good. Thank you for the support and sacrifices that you have made over these past years. We know it has not been easy. Thank you for understanding the importance of having a strong partnership between home and school that keeps this community special. Please know that having the opportunity to watch your children grow up, oh no, over the past seven years has been a true joy. Thank you. Before I end, I'd like to thank our superintendent of schools, Mr. David Schneider his administrative team, and the Board of Education for their leadership and support.
Thank you to the dedicated teachers st and staff members at BHS. They are true professionals who make a difference every day. <laughs> to our outstanding PTSA members, led by Barbara Enright, Christina Skelta, and Stacy Horowitz, thank you for all you do for our kids. To my assistant principals, Mr. Toko and Mr. Healy, thank you for keeping Beth Page High School running like a well-oiled machine. And finally, to the special class of 2022, I want to thank you. I could not have asked for a better class to start my principalship at Beth Page High School with. I am forever grateful for the opportunity that I was given to graduate eighth grade with you so we could start at Bethpage High School together. I am sure you're relieved to hear tonight that I will not be following you to college. <sighs> I think so. Through it all, and there has been a lot, you have been nothing but spectacular, and I mean that. It is a special group. You will always have a special place in my heart. Good luck in the future. Keep in touch, and remember, once a golden eagle, always a golden eagle. Members of the Board of Education, Mr. Schneider, administrators, faculty, parents, relatives, and friends, it gives me great pleasure to present to you the Beth Page High School Class of 2022 for the conferring of diplomas. James McQuaid Panchukian. <laughs> Liam O'Connor. <laughs> Ruchitha Chanapatna. <laughs> Suchitha Chanapatna. Juliana Lavaca. <laughs> Catherine Alvarado. <laughs> Gabriella Mafucci. <laughs> Larab Arshad. Rebecca McGuffin. <laughs> Ava Orosano. Justine LaCroix. Yeah. Brian Baez. Santina Leonardo. <laughs> Caitlin Ackerley. Maggie Lynn. Costa Anagnastu. Michelle Liu. Brianna Ackerman. Amalia Lal. Allison Bauman. Julia Maggio. Zaid Bacha. Brian Lanetto. Alan Batista. Joseph Lynn. <laughs> Carolyn Bertelson Leon. <laughs> Aiden Lauritsen. <laughs> Aurel Batia. <laughs> Shane Lessa. <laughs> Damon Alarcon. 
Brandon Loiza. Brian Bello. Brian Luzzi. Nicholas Arabido. William LeClaire. Guram Abbas. Mingzi Lu. Chelsea Bactawar. Jonathan Lee. Nala Beltran. Nicholas Attard. Derek Lee. Kayla Ahn. Michael Lai. Antonetta Caruso. Margarita Mavrukis. Allison Bogovic. Emily Morano. Gabriella Carchi. Isabella Moroni. Muscon Chabra. Ashley Marcianti. Karen Chen. Ashlyn McGrorty. Sonia Chantalk. Andrew Miller. Tara Cochran. Leah Marcenaro. Emily Chappelle. Elizabeth Munoz. Taylor Buffalino. Dominic Miano. Samantha Clark. Michael Menz. Marissa Bula. Mackenzie Moeller. Connor Burns. Nicole Minnelli. Thomas Buzio. Braden Mikulski. Matthew Christensen. Jacqueline Matthews. Sean Carney. Alexa Maranuzzi. James Caparuccio. Gianna Mirabelli. Nicholas Brady. Julia Miochik. Michael Bove. Matthew McManus. James David. Kevin Murkov. Robbie Crum. Daniel Wilson. Michael Corbo. Megan Panella. Anthony Cucurulo. Ava Nargentino. Jack DePonte. Michaela Petrovska. Justin Crum. Shannon O'Shaughnessy. Sarah Corbo. Caitlin O'Connell. John DiMartino. Kayla Penji. Joseph DiGiovanna. Elaine Ortiz. 
Gianluca Cusimano. Jessica Promoter. <laughs> Kieran Dixon. Emily Northgard. Giovanni DiGiorgio. Thomas Pelcher. Nick Costanzo. Gavin Naylor. Julia Donnelly. Shane Nikas. Aaron Conway. Demetrios Naranzinas. Sabrina Cusimano. Sierra O'Toole. Joseph Domagala. Abigail Auschlander. Yana Dimas. Alyssa Perez. Landon Cruz. Naomi Rufian. Lindsay Coyne. Lizbeth Romero. Jake Dezoris. Isabella Pujols. Zachary Ganji. Lindsay Poppy. Michael Graston. Olivia Pfeiffer. Alexa Filstra. Emma Regatero. Isabella Filstra. Alexa Prieto. Daniel Garcia. Paul Portugal. Calista Flores. Kumel Ramporawala. Brian Galdamez. Elizabeth Portelli. Josue Godoy Nira. Ariana Chalici. Ryan Gallego. Daniel Ruiz de Lemos. Tasnim Ferdos. Samantha Ruiz de Lemos. Peter Georgiados. Toussaint Pirapakin. Gianna Fingerly. Anthony Ponzo. Ashki Al Sayed. Vincent Resta. Maggie Giacopelli. Jaden Robinson. Christopher Downs. Maya Siegel. Paige Gordio. Tabin Sun. Juliana Feliz. Dua Syed. Jordan Geller. Chelsea Tabori. Luke Galgano. Summer Singh. Michaela Hotkinson. Navjeet Singh. Lauren Hawley. Thomas Taffy. Isabella Hines. Gwen Sullivan. Lena Guerrero. Hey, hey, hey. 
Sarah Scholander. Irene Hapsis. Noor Singh. Jaden Huang. Guvir Singh. Samir Gupte. Arib Sadiqi. Jamal Hamid. Sukraj Singh. William Horback. Tyler Spark. Vincenzo Helfrich. Matthew Seminario. Ryan Hagen. Peter Sagalis. Caitlin Hall. Daniel Skopinski. Arisha Hiranand. Louis Maldonado. Caitlin Herbert. Nishat Ruman. Caitlin Hans. Amy Yalbuzdag. Shannon Hughes. Olivia Wise. Jessica Garassi. Emily Williams. Jamie Herzl. Ella Walsh. Kurt Krummenacker. Jessica Williams. Brandon Kim. Lacey Waters. Jacob Koretz. Caitlin Waters. Megan Janelle. Richard Verbowens. Michael Kosman. Kevin Zhang. Harry Kirit Hundal. Casey Trezinski. Janaid Iqbal. Joseph. Tesler, Kyle Kim, Nicholas Vega, Daniela Knesic, Santiago Vargas, Anna Kovac, Teresa Tulasidas. Amanda Klein. Ava Zingoni. Um, Abby Immediato. Leah Vershal. Bisma Hussein. Rachel Vershal. Manmi Kaur. Simone Kashu. Jacob Reyna. Bernardo Jimenez. Graduates, please stand. <laughs> Members of the class of 2022, 
You have completed the course of study prescribed by the Bethpage Board of Education and approved by the University of the State of New York. By the virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents, I hereby declare you graduates of Beth Page High School. <laughs> to symbolize your graduation, please move your tassel from the right side of your cap to the left. Congratulations and good luck. I want them to hear me. Right, 